I'm Melissa Cameron, Senior Counsel CSR and Philanthropic Services with SunWest Communications. I'm at home uh, along with the rest of the world. And uh, it's interesting, we've been getting some questions from some of our corporate partners around what's next. Uh, we've taken care of our employees. Uh, we've set up our communication plan. Uh, our businesses are, are in place. And our employees are asking us, what can we do? What can we do for the community? And it's, it's such a great question. And there's not an easy answer, um, especially because we're all staying in place. But I'd like to offer uh, up a couple of words. And they start with the letter R. Uh, as we're working with one of our nonprofit partners, we're taking a look at what their needs are in terms of response, recovery, and resiliency. So first, the needs of uh, the community and nonprofits is emergency response. And so how can we help those nonprofits that are right there at the front line? And I would say there are virtual food drives, uh, if you contact your local food bank or your local shelters, there are ways in which your company could do a virtual drive and your employees from their home could help support those drives and, and provide the emergency needs for the community. And then we look at recovery and there are organizations out there who are providing necessary mental, physical and business needs for clients who are in need and struggling. Um, what do I, how do I pay my rent? How do I even have a conversation with uh, my telephone provider or with my landlord to defer those payments? Uh, if, does your company offer uh, tax accounting services? What is your professional acumen that you can bring to the table? And that brings me to resiliency. When we think about uh, partnering uh, with our nonprofits uh, from a corporate standpoint, what are the unique services that you can bring to bear? And we've got to get innovative. This is the time for us to think outside of the box. When you look at who responded after 9-11, who rethought the way in which they could outreach into the community? And I'm gonna throw out another R word, and that's reputation. Those are companies that we know their reputation scores rose in the ranks because they were able to respond in a creative and innovative way to help the community in a time of crisis. And that's the challenge today, right, is for you to be able to think about how you can respond, how you can be part of the recovery and resiliency, not just for the betterment of the community, but also for the betterment of your company's reputation. This is Melissa Cameron with SunWest Communications. Those are your R's for the day.